Hi, the J2021 dates are out. You probably know about the changes. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use those changes to your advantage and do well in the J2021. The first change that you know about is that there are going to be four attempts. Now, everybody in the country is going to think that there are four attempts, I'll do well in the third attempt, I'll do well in the fourth attempt. But I'm here to tell you, take the opposite route and do well in the first attempt. Do you know why? Every two last two years, we had the JA main and there were two attempts. And we've seen our students here come and do well in the first attempt and then still work hard on the second attempt. They were still not able to improve their percentile significantly. Do you know why? Everybody's doing the same. So if you want to do well and when do well when nobody is prepared and you will do well. So example, if you score 220 marks in your JE mains, you probably will be in the 99th percentile. That's in the second attempt or the third attempt. But students who probably even scored let's like, do 10 or 200 marks in the first attempt will be in the 99th percentile in the examination to come. So let your first attempt be your best attempt. If you're in the 99th percentile in your first attempt, then you can focus on your JE advanced, your NEET exams, or any other exam, BITS exam, and so on, and you're done. Second thing I'm here to tell you is that the second change is that you'll have 20 MCQs, and then you'll have five numerical questions, or five numerical questions that you have to give out of the 10. Now these 20 MCQs are going to be based on your board, that's your CBC board, state board, or any board. So they are NCRT questions. So doing NCRT well, you will score 20 marks. You know, and that's great. Because if you score 20 marks in math, physics and chemistry, you scored 60 questions right, 16 to 4, you've got 240. You are in the 99th percentile just by studying NCRT. Okay. That doesn't mean that you can leave J level main level questions out, right? Because J level main questions are needed to clear your numerical questions. Now, we don't know how the numerical questions are going to come out. There might be 10 questions, might be question number 21, maybe you have question 1, question 2, you have to give one of the two. Or the second pattern could be there may be 10 questions, 10 numerical questions, and you have to give any of the five. We don't know the way that's going to come. So, my suggestion, or suggestions our seniors have given to our their juniors here, is prepare for all the chapters then you can choose the easiest questions in the paper. Now, over the years, CFL's toppers have come and spoken to the juniors and they've given four or five things that have helped them significantly and I'm going to share it here. Every single topper has said that they've given mock test over mock test, you know, preparing for what's a JE main. From today, for example, towards the February 23rd that is coming, you have 60 days. If you want to be in the 99th percentile, you have to give a mock test a day. The top, some of the toppers would even give two mock tests a day. They would give a test from 9 to 12, take a break in the afternoon, and get a mock test in the evening. And the time remaining, they would analyze the paper. That's if you're prepared towards a JE main. But if you're not prepared, give a mock test in the morning and do your revision in the afternoon. The next thing you have to do is very important is analyze the mock test. See where you've scored marks, which chapters you've scored marks, which questions you've taken more time, and then come up with a plan to find out how you're going to do better. Implement that plan and try to score better. Analysis is very important. Now, the next thing I'm here to tell you is that you need to know when you're giving the paper, you need to know your level one questions, level two questions, and level three questions. You have to give your strongest subject first. You have to give the easiest questions first. If you're giving a paper and you come up with a difficult question and you got it wrong, don't try to solve the problem again. Just move on to the next question. You will have time for it at the end of the paper. Right? So give the easiest questions first, level two questions next, level three questions later. I've told you earlier, even if you get 20 questions right, you are in the 99th percentile. So focus on that. The next thing here I have to tell you is that a lot of students, for example, when they do the revision, have a plan. At least a daily plan. This is, this is the things that I want to do from the intentions for my day. And they try to finish their intentions for the day. Take your questions, take your timetable, and plan the next 60 days. Final thing I want to tell you is, you need to be extremely fit, physically, mentally, spiritually, when you give the examination. 
And for that, if you focus only on giving examination, you ignore your body, you ignore your, for example, spiritual side, you will be not in the best state of mind. So my advice here to all the students there taking the exam is eat extremely healthy food, that is fresh food. You know, take time to exercise. Around 32 uh, minutes a day is a good time to exercise. Take time to help you keep your, you know, for example, confidence high. Take time to keep your, you know, you know take time to be happy. Take time to be, take for gratitude. Take time, for example, to enjoy some pleasures in life. Do not be exhausted on the examination day. Focus on your mental energy. One best way is to meditate. Second best way, breathing exercises. Do either one of those two things and help your mental energy. Now, if you are religious, I would say that take some time to visit your temple, your churches or your mosque. And for example, spend some time once a week to build up your spiritual energy. Pray for some time. And if you don't believe in God, at least focus on somebody you respect. And say, for example, draw energy from that person. And says, that person is motivating me to work hard. Okay? Focus on your three energies. Physical, mental, spiritual energies as you go towards your journey main. Again, guys, summarizing this video. I hope that helps you get better. First is four attempts. Give the first attempt be your best attempt. Second attempt question is focus on your board level questions. You will do well. Focus on doing all the chapters. It will give you options to leave the questions out. Next one, give mock tests. 60 mock tests from now to the examination day is the recommendation. Recommended number of mock tests. A revision timetable, revision schedule, intentions of the day. Finally, focus on your three energies. Physical, spiritual, mental. And be fit and do well in a J2021. I hope you all the best and I hope all of you do well and, and I hope this video has helped you. Thank you. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.